welcome back friends in this video tutorial we'll be talking about nick translation i haven't find many videos about nick translation in youtube that's why i'm making it nick translation is a very important technique to produce dna probe or nucleotide probes now nucleotide probes means stretch of nucleotide sequences which are tagged with certain fluorescent markers or sometimes tagged with a certain kind of uh, chemical agents to give colorations uh, something like that or sometimes tagged with let's say uh, radioisotopes like p32 so they are very very important for many different molecular techniques right for example in situ hybridization fluorescent in situ hybridization or many different variety of dna hybridization techniques so that's why we need to produce let's say we have a dna sequence for example let's say we have a stretch of dna sequence there like this now in this dna sequence what we need to do uh, so these are dna strands two dna strands complementary with each other they are attached with each other like that now for example by any means of different types of experiment we want to conduct or do onto that dna uh, we need to mark that dna otherwise we cannot see the presence of the dna inside the cell or we cannot find the presence of dna in any other uh, applications that we are going to do so to find the presence of a particular gene or dna we need to tag them with certain type of dyes or tag them with fluorescent markers or tag them with you know, say uh, radioisotopes right so for that reason we will do this nick translation process now what is nick translation process let's look at it step by step now in the very beginning what we'll do the main idea is simple that we will take some of the normal nucleotide sequence out of this dna and insert we will put certain radio labeled nucleotide sequences or fluorescently labeled nucleotide sequences in the place so that they will fill that gap and we get a dna certain portion of that will be marked with fluorescently tagged or radio labeled nucleotide sequence so that we can track the position of that dna that's the very basic idea so how can we insert certain tag or tag the nucleotide molecules by replacing all this pre-existing nucleotide sequence a normal nucleotide sequence now the thing is we need to cut the nucleotide sequence out of this place because that's the basic idea of molecular biology we can cut the dna strand we can take the nucleotide sequence out then we can put some newly tagged nucleotide sequence and fill that gap which is produced after cleaving the nucleotide out right so we'll do the same thing here so we'll create a nick here and the nick is created by dna's a1 so we have dna's one and the dna's one will cleave particular region for example it cleaves from here right so once it is creating a cleave remember dna's one is not removing any base what it does actually it actually breaks the phosphodiester band uh, bond sorry phosphodiester bond or phosphodiester backbone of the dna it's not removing any nucleotide sequence once the dna's one activity is reached or done then what we'll do we recruit another enzyme called dna polymerase one and we know dna polymerase one is having 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity that's the handy tool for us because you know there are other polymerase like polymerase 3 which are having 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease like that but in this case we use dna polymerase 1 which has also 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity using that what we can do let's say here this is the 5 prime 3 prime so this is it so we cut here using dna's one so it produces a 3 prime hydroxyl free there right now the next step is adding dna polymerase one which will cleave the dna strand and cleave all those nucleotide sequence out from 5 prime to 3 prime we cannot use polymerase 3 because polymerase 3 do not have this ability of 5 prime 3 prime exonuclease so now the exonuclease activity will go in this 5 prime to 3 prime direction and what will we have here we have this dna sequence and it will create a gap for example 
and the nucleotide sequences are now out okay let's say this nucleotide sequences are now out and 3 prime hydroxyl here is free right so once this is there it's ready to go then what will we do we add again dna polymerase is there alongside what we'll add we will add radio labeled or any kind of tagged fluorescently tagged or radio labeled let's say radio labeled dntps let's say with p32 the phosphorus for the nucleotide will be p32 isotope so we add this radio label dntps in the place and let's say the radio label dntps are this black in color so what we'll get right now we'll get other strand is just like as it is and now this is the three prime portion and the rest of the dna now will be consisting of this nucleotide sequence three prime five prime so this black section of the dna now carries the radio labeled isotope so this this black portion is now tagged it's marked with radio label right or radio isotopes so as a result in future we can easily find this dna or track this dna inside the cell during different experiments simply watching it due to this radiogram generation okay so this is called as a nick translation process it is extremely important for many different molecular techniques right and it's kind of very easy way to produce a hybrid containing or adding all those radio labeled isotope containing nucleotide or tagged nucleotides okay so that's kind of it about nick translation but the process is very easy using two enzymes dna is one and dna polymer is one and radio labeled nucleotide sequences dntps right so that's it if you like the video subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in, in your future and also hit a like share it with your friends in social networks thank you